Thank you uh, very much, Mr. Pritchard. Um, I rise to speak on behalf of the SNP in this debate, and I have to say I do feel like I've gatecrashed someone else's party to some extent, uh, but standing orders dictate that I say something, so I, I very much wish to. We obviously don't have a dog in this particular fight, and of course, if it came to a vote, we would probably be prohibited from exercising our judgment under the standing orders at the moment anyway. But nonetheless, we do watch the debates that you are having uh, in Yorkshire and elsewhere in England uh, with great interest because uh, there, to, one ex to some extent there is a, a similarity between the campaign that we have had to achieve a devolved national parliament in Scotland and indeed our campaign to go further and have devolution so complete that we have independent control over that parliament. There's a similarity between that and uh, the campaign for English devolution in as much as they are about changing the constitutional basis of the governance of these islands. And I think there is much in terms of the political ambition that, under, that drives this debate, uh, which we share and we very much support. I do have to say, though, that they are not the same thing because, and, and people quite often talk about devolution and uh, English regions uh, in the same breath. And I do want to make one important point of difference, and that is to say that the campaign for the establishment of and the extension of the Scottish Parliament is not about the decentralization of public administration within a common political framework. It is about the, al allowing the creation and the evolution of a different political framework which will allow a different set of choices to be made, whether that be within the United Kingdom or without the United Kingdom. And that's slightly different from the campaign for English regional government. But we do very much support the idea of devolution and decentralization within England. I mean, you only have to look at a, a, ro a motorway map of the United Kingdom or indeed the intercity rail network map mm -hmm. to see that for far too long, strategic thinking and planning in the United Kingdom has been dominated by a desire to make the periphery connect to the center mm -hmm. rather than the creation of sustainable regions of the country which can interconnect with each other and therefore achieve a much greater benefit. And I do think that this debate is part uh, of breaking that down, and we very much welcome it. I do think, though, that there ought to be some sort of national English plan for this. It seems to me that for far too long, central government has ducked this question. And just because it's too difficult or because there's not support in some areas, they have been unable to come up with a strategic plan into which these things could locate. And I do hope the minister will maybe say that that's somewhere on the horizon because in the absence of that plan, we have this city deal, city region, city mayor uh, proposal, which really is about trying to push something ahead in an area where you expect it to get very little resistance. And what has happened in this instance, it seems to me as an observer, is that resistance has come about to the proposal both within the proposed city region area and in the neighboring areas beside it. And without wishing to take sides or uh, to, to, to make any particular prescription, it does seem to me that the only thing that government can now do, surely, given the level of dissent that has been registered to its plan, is to press the pause button, bring people together, and have a proper consultation about how decentralization can go forward in Yorkshire on a basis in which all of the participants could agree because if it is pushed through without that consent and agreement, I think it will be ill-fated and it will not work. 